History of the F-88 The F-88 has been the primary service rifle of the Australian Defence Force since the late 1980s and has been used on operations around the globe. This rifle has been through many changes and updates over the years and we are going to explore its history and evolution in this video. The story of the F-88 service rifle began in the early 1970s when the Australian Defence Force started looking for a new rifle to replace its ageing L-1A1 self-loading rifle. The next weapon we have is the L-1A1 SLR. This is the standard infantry rifle currently in use in the Australian Army. In the late 1970s, the Defence Force issued a request for proposals for a new rifle, and the Austrian company Steyr responded with its new Steyr AUG rifle. So check out this gun here. Now this here is a Steyr AUG. Steyr AUG's a bad motherfucker. Listen. <laughs> Woo! It's, it's expensive too, man. Made in Austria. After extensive testing and evaluation, the Australian Defence Force selected the Styrorg as its new service rifle, which was designated the F-88 within the Australian Defence Force. The F-88 was introduced into service in the late 1980s, and it quickly proved to be a lighter, more manoeuvrable rifle than its predecessor. The original F-88 rifles were manufactured at the Lithgow Arms Factory in New South Wales. Today, the modern offerings are built at the same plant, however Lithgow has since been acquired by French-owned defence giant Thales Group. While the bullpup style of rifle makes for polarizing debate among firearms enthusiasts, throughout the F-88's history its reputation has been that of an accurate and reliable rifle, in spite of the quirks created by the bullpup design. Over the years, the F-88 went through several updates and changes to improve its functionality and effectiveness. In the early 2000s, a new variant of the rifle was introduced, the F-88 SA-1. This upgrade introduced a rail system that allowed for the attachment of different accessories and optics. The F-88 SA-1 was frequently equipped with the Canadian-made Elkin Wildcat optic, usually two issued per infantry section. This rifle saw service in East Timor, Iraq, and Afghanistan, and was also seen fitted with different optical sights such as the ACOG and Aimpoint Red Dot sight. In 2009, the F-88 SA-2 was released. This version featured a new color scheme, longer Picatinny top rail, and a removable side rail that held mounting points for the night aiming device and surefire weapon light. The F-88 SA-2 also featured Picatinny on top of the standard 1.5 power magnified optic, however the Trigicon ACOG was commonly utilized during this period. In 2015, the F-88 SA-2 was replaced by the enhanced F-88 or EF-88, which was released commercially by Thales Lithgow as the F-90. The EF-88 features a reworked upper receiver, fluted barrel, lightning cuts, and additional rail space for weapon accessories. Additionally, on personal request from then Chief of Army, the EF-88 was released in an all-black color scheme, which some soldiers viewed as a regression from the standard tan and khaki of the SA-2. The EF-88 is issued with the Spectre DR optical sight, and is fitted with either the PEQ-16B laser aiming device or the L3 squad rangefinder. Moving forward, the EF-88 is scheduled to be replaced under the Land 159 Lethality Systems program, with a new service rifle expected to be chosen by 2025. Perhaps not so coincidentally, Thales Lithgow recently released a prototype 6.8mm bullpup rifle, likely leveraging the US Army's recent selection of the 6.8mm SIG platform as the next generation service rifle. So there you have it, the history and evolution of the F-88 service rifle. From its introduction in the late 1980s to its many evolutions through Australian design, only the future knows what rifle will replace this iconic piece of Australian military history. Thanks for watching.